I have paid ridiculous amounts of money for citrus fragrances that last long and they smell like they were made in a lab. I don't like that. I want a citrus that smells like a juicy lemon that's just been cut open and is refreshing. Natural citruses do not last. They are not meant to last. They are meant to be a refresher fragrance. If you like wearing a citrus all day long, here is something that you can do. You can respray. It's absolutely okay to respray your fragrance. And here's an idea. The best layering combination that you will ever find is layering the same perfume on top of itself. Yes, those base notes, working with those top and middle notes being resprayed is going to smell even better than when you sprayed it some hours before. Here's a citrus fragrance that's extremely affordable and definitely smells like the real thing. Agrumi di Sicilia. This is by a brand called Monotem, meaning mono theme, I guess. So each fragrance is based on one theme, one ingredient, if you will. And this one is based on Sicilian citruses. This is definitely a bitter orangey scent. And I mean, again, like this whole longevity obsession, it does not have to last that long. Personally, I don't even wanna smell like a citrus all day long. Some days I do, but then I'll respray, right? So Agrumi di Sicilia, Monotem, check out this brand in general if you would like something that is like extremely reasonably priced and you get to sense the theme of each one. The citrus, the musk, the jasmine, you know, they have certain ingredient focuses. Monotem, got this one for a bargain. Cologne. You have an eau de cologne, right? Eau de cologne. All that indicates is the level of perfume oil in the fragrance. So here's a cologne and a cologne again is not meant to last a long time, okay? It is okay that it does not, as long as it smells incredible. This is a brand called Geo F Trumper. It says George F Trumper here. It's a British brand and this is so incredibly affordable. Aster Cologne is um, an aromatic citrus fragrance. So it gives you that old school gentleman type of situation and I love it. I find it so dapper and cool when I'm dressed for a meeting and I'm wearing a old school cologne or a barbershop fragrance or a fougere for that matter. This one has a unique twist because it has caraway seeds in there, but it's that otherwise very sharp, petite grain, leafy, zesty, green cologne scent. And I think that you can't get better for price quality ratio when it comes to cologne than GOF Trumper. They've got some other great ones as well. Another one that I have is Corzon Cologne, and this one has is smells a little bit more fougere because it has some spicy qualities added to this one as well but yeah this range has a lot of gems one of the fragrances that first got me into loving citruses is this one by versace this was actually a women's fragrance i think it was called versance yeah versance was the name and it's discontinued but you might be able to find it around and I just love buying this in 30 mils. I love the sizes of these citruses for when it's warmer to carry around with you because I love respraying them. And this is easily unisex. I think that an, a bitter citrus or an orange definitely, like you cannot persuade anyone that that has one specific gender. I think that often men's colognes are associated with citruses but how, how does a citrus fruit have a gender? It just, to me, it absolutely cannot. And brands will often add like a musky undertone that either leans feminine or leans masculine in order to make a scent fit in some sort of uh, guideline. One of the goats, greatest of all time citruses is Diorum Cologne. And when I bought this, I was one of those people who was complaining like, oh, it doesn't last very long waste of money, blah, blah, blah. But no, again, it's not meant to last very long. Now that I understand this, I have been set free. I am free to roam around in the world of citruses and enjoy all of them without being disappointed because I know that they are not meant to last long. You would never be able to get this delicate, oh, the floral prettiness that is steeped into this citrus lemonade tea concoction that is Joam Cologne, you would never be able to achieve that and make it long lasting. You would have to amp up the base notes. It would have to either become more musky or more woody and it would not be what it is. So let's just, if you enjoy the composition for what it is, 
you'll have to accept that you're going to have to respray and then you'll be happy like me. Jerome Cologne. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This has a white musk undertone actually. Um, so if you're looking for a musky fragrance with citrus as well, then Jerome Cologne worn by everyone. Wear, you know, everyone wear it. <laughs> it's not just for the ums. One of my guilty pleasure citruses is this Eau de Cologne Imperial by Guerlain. This is from their old B bottles. I think maybe this one still looks like this in this bottle. I could be wrong, but you can actually find these beehives sometimes for a bargain because Guerlain, every time a brand tries to push out an old design, that's a good time to buy it because if you don't care about having the latest bottle, get the old design and you might be able to find it for a bargain, which I did. So Eau de Cologne Imperial. This one smells like an aroli sharp citrus and it smells very similar to 4711 if you know that one that's another really good bargain neroli if you love neroli and you don't want to pay the prices of tom ford neroli portofino go out and get 4711 we have them all over in pharmacies over here um, in the uk and across europe not sure if it's the same in the us but i think it would be easy to find 4711 so this is bougie 4711 the posh version and i love I love it. Another fun fact, if you have a headache or a migraine, try wearing a citrus fragrance. Instead of like, don't wear your heavy ouds and ambers if you have a headache. Wear a lovely light citrus because it is going to refresh you. It's not gonna have anything that's gonna, you know, make that headache worse. And whenever I have a hangover, I reach for a citrus fragrance. So since I spoke about a fragrance that was marketed for men, Dior en Cologne, which Anyone can wear, absolutely fine. Here's one that's marketed for women by Chanel Cristal Eau Verte. So this one is stunning because it's green citrusy. You've got Neroli in here as well, which is lovely and refreshing. You've got a little bit of underlying Cristal DNA in this. I was one of those people who wanted to wear a Cristal by Chanel, and this was the only way that I could make it work for me, <laughs> by making it a citrus, okay? It's so juicy and lemony and also has some floral acids, so a little bit of magnolia in there to add some interest, as well as a white musky base. So check that one out. Cristal, we're really doing good price point in this video. I love that. You definitely don't have to look far for a lovely citrus fragrance amongst your regular department stores and so on. But here's a brand that actually markets themselves as niche. It's Essential Parfum. This one is called Nice Bergamot. So if you enjoy a bergamot, oh, this is a woody bergamot and bergamot is often used in shower gels. So um, yeah, if you don't know what bergamot smells like, it's kind of like a mature citrusy scent, still green, very much on the orange side if you think in colors and yeah, nice bergamot. It is a very nice bergamot. Here's another lovely citrus fragrance that I got. This is an orangey citrus. It's called Orange Absolute. This is from Beauty Pie, which is a beauty subscription service where you pay an annual membership fee and then you get beauty products that have cut out the middleman and you're paying the minimum price. So this I think is like 34 pounds or something on their website. They've run out of it. Let's just all email Beauty Pie to bring this fragrance back because this smells like Bigarade Concentré by Frédéric Mal. okay? It smells like the dry down of that, very similar. Slightly more lotion-y, like creamy lotion-y, bougie lotion-y, which I love, but ugh, it's an absolute steal. And I've been wearing this one lately, orange absolute. Please bring it back, Beauty Pie. Floris is another great brand that is higher than some of these, but still very, very reasonable. This one is called German Street, and this is probably the sharpest citrus that I have. Ooh, this cuts through. <laughs> they also have one called Limes or Lime, which smells like lime. Go figure, just incredible. This one I would say is more of that dapper aftershave scent. And I love this scent. I mean, I've really thought about why it is. And I think it's because my dad used to use these products when I was a kid and I'd like watch him dabbing all of this stuff on his chin, on his neck. I'm definitely daddy's girl. <laughs> when he would come in and lean in for a kiss, that was just such a comforting scent. So I love 
this barbershop vibe and it actually shouldn't even be linked to men because if you go back to the history of perfumery then these barbershop fougères citrix were actually created for women the power of marketing so this is probably as expensive as we're going to get today this is yuzu man by caron and this is probably just a notch less sharp than the florist german street lovely this one also has those masculine undertones i mean i was in a shop and i was going towards this area and the guy who owned the shop this was in berlin actually the guy who owned the shop was like oh don't go there that's for men and i was like you know what i don't care <laughs> you know i love the smell of citruses and so yuzu man another different take it has a little bit of a, a classic vibe let's say it's got a little bit of a classic vibe to it um the dry down of it is definitely that woody, slightly powdery coolness that we associate with classic perfumes. So try this one out. It's also got verbena in here. Verbena is another really nice twist on a citrus. And yes, as usual, I could go on and on about citrus fragrances. I'm gonna stop it here. Let me know your favorite affordable citrus fragrances. There are so many out there. I mean, Clinique Happy is another one and it just makes you happy. Please share your favorites down below. And I will be doing a fragrance video on citruses that last longer. And I'm just so picky about them. You know, I don't want them to smell like they were made in a lab and, you know, synthesized in this way. I have a pure nose now, okay?